Four years after losing her race for Texas governor, Wendy Davis is making another run at public office. Yeah, and this time she has her sight set on Congress, looking to unseat Republican Representative Chip Roy. The race is for Congressional District 21, covering parts of Austin, Hayes County, and the Hill Country. Rebecca Trejo joins us with insight on this upcoming 2020 race. Rebecca? Well, many remember Wendy Davis from her famous 13 hour filibuster on the Texas Senate floor fighting an anti abortion bill. She gained a large base from that exposure. But is that enough to win the seat? Those pink running shoes made a couple appearances in Wendy Davis's campaign video announcing her candidacy for the Democratic nomination for Congressional District 21 in Texas. The district stretches from downtown Austin to San Antonio, plus all of Blanco and Gillespie counties. I'm running for Congress because people's voices are still being silenced. They were the shoes she wore during her filibuster as a Texas state senator that gained her national attention. So I'm rising on the floor today to humbly give voice to thousands of Texans who have been ignored. She's facing Representative Chip Roy, a former federal prosecutor and staffer to U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, who won the 2018 congressional election against Joseph Kopser. Ross Ramsey, executive editor of the Texas Tribune, says even though she famously lost the gubernatorial race to now Governor Greg Abbott, this 2020 congressional race will be interesting. It's a formidable challenge in a district that has been getting steadily less Republican. Ramsey says in 2016 and 2014, District 21 was solidly Republican. In the 2018 Senate race between Beto O'Rourke and Senator Cruz, Cruz got 49.61 percent of the vote, O'Rourke 49.46. But the question is, which of those data points is going to be indicative of what happens in 2020. Ramsey says each candidate has their advantages. Chip Roy comes in, you know, more from the Ted Cruz wing of the Republican Party and is building a base there. So she comes in with sort of a proven base. He comes in as a proven winner in this district. This is also a race that much of Texas will watch, along with many in both parties. We called Representative Chip Roy's campaign office for comment today, but have not heard back. In a tweet posted today, though, he says Wendy Davis's radical and extreme views will no doubt excite the likes of Nancy Pelosi and other D.C. liberals. I will continue fighting for the hardworking families of TX21 and the common sense values that make Texas everything Washington is not. Life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. Rebecca Trejo, KVU News.